What's up, y'all? This is your man, Bobby Wash, producer, singer, songwriter, and filmmaker. Um, this is my Bobby Wash and vlog channel. Please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. Um, this right here, I've been, it's been a nightmare. I've been looking um, all around the internet to see how to convert MIDI to audio all at once, multiple tracks, not just one, right? I, all the videos I've seen, uh, let me show you what they've been doing. So basically, everybody been doing this, one track at a time, right click, bouncing place, or they'll go to file, file, uh, bounce, you know, bounce region in place, right? Or track in place. All that's cool, but I need all of them. So I tried to select all of them, right? And when I did, when I did, and I pressed the right click, bounce in place, it, it still only bounced this top track, the top, whatever the top track you got selected. It didn't do all of them. And I'm like, man, what's going on? I press, man, I pressed, I did this, I pressed shift to the left hand side, press shift. I tried that, I tried uh, holding, uh, I tried doing um, bounce track in place, but none of those commands work without doing this. You have to touch the follow on the top one first, touch it first, then you gotta press command, not shift. For some reason, command tells it to, hey, make these separate, okay? So then you press shift, boom, boom, I'm sorry, not shift, command, command, boom, all the way down the gray side. Don't touch the green side. Go all the way down, command. Now on PC, it's gonna be, it's gonna be control, okay? But on Mac, it's command. Control for PC, command for Mac. Once you have that selected, now you can go to file, right? You can go to bounce and bounce track, right? Bounce track, bounce track in place. You keep all of this, keep this blank, name blank. Now since I have the, uh, the drum machine multiple, going to multiple tracks itself, down here I got all the kicks and stuff using ultra beat. I gotta select this as it, um, as it include uh, multi-inch outputs as additional tracks. Make sure you click that, okay? It's important, if not, the drum will, will be on one track still. So press okay. Let's see what happens. My song is only eight uh, eight bars. I'm gonna I'm gonna loop the bars once it turns to audio. Some of you got your MIDI spread out for the whole song, so you may have like 81 bars or 96 bars. So it's gonna take you longer than what it's taking me right now um, to bounce down. I rather just do eight bars and you know free up some CPU. Um, at the same time, it's great to have audio for gain staging purposes um, as far as the, the audio levels and stuff like that. I just like working with audio better, you know. Um, so this is bouncing down. Let's give it a second. It's doing its magic. And I can't believe it, man. Uh, no one really had the answer for this all over the entire internet, which is crazy, crazy to me. Um, one person even said, what sense does it make to, to bounce the audio? You can just mix it and uh, and MIDI. And if you need to freeze some tracks, freeze some tracks. Well, I don't want to freeze no tracks. You know, I want to I wanna do it with audio. Like traditional people did it. So here we go. This is it right here. All right, so boom. Now everything is separate. Everything is separate. And everything is stereo. You see, every, it looks like mono, but it's not. You can see the stereo, the two circles here. If you need to turn to mono, you can. Now, to know that it's stereo, you can just click, double click it. You'll see down here it has two lines. Um, I don't know how to make it look like that up here yet. I guess I'll find that out later. How it can look like, you know, it's supposed to look. But it, it, it sounds like stereo, definitely. Um, so let's go back and push this back up here. Uh, okay. All right. So yeah, so let's go down to the drums. Make sure the drums, yep. See this, this symbol came out, the kick came out, Congress came out separate. Yep, everybody came out separate. Yep. So even though I didn't come over here, down here, to press, you know, um, you know the, the command down here, it still, it still did it for me. It still did it for me, all right? Because I did it with the uh, the button, add additional tracks. So I hope this video helped you guys, man. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share this video. And um, until the next video, peace and blessings.